describe an experiment on the preparation of lead 2 chloride. Okay. Now, first of all, is lead 2 chloride soluble? What do you think? Harika, lead 2 chloride soluble or insoluble? Insoluble. Insoluble. Who agree with uh, Harika? Show a light face. Where Harika says that the lead 2 chloride is insoluble. Okay, good. Okay, now we continue. Uh. Since this uh, lead 2 chloride is insoluble, so we are going to have two solutions. We cut it half. Okay, someone suggests the first solution for me. What are you using as the first solution, Zach? Yeah. What solution do you use? I think I think I did I copied the question wrong. It's uh, I huh? did lead oxide. I use lead oxide accidentally. You you use lead oxide and the wrong. lead oxide and uh uh night uh so I copied the question wrongly. It's, uh, what did I, you I, copy? I lead oxide. Prepare lead oxide. I wrote lead to oxide uh, instead of lead to chloride. Ah yeah, okay. So now, uh, we will get uh, another friend to tell us what is the thought solution that we are going to use. Wei Heng, can you please tell me your answer? Wei Heng? Uh, teacher, is it lead ion? Yes, you want the lead ion. So what solution you want to use? Solution. The lead 2 ion, you pair it with what? Uh, lead and chrome. When you cut, you get the lead 2 ion and the chloride ion. You want a solution with a lead 2 ion. So what solution will you use? This lead 2 ion, you pair with what? Dorani, what's the solution that you use? Uh, nitrate between. What nitrate? Lead nitrate. Okay, now, when you are using PBNO32, uh, this is for everyone, uh, you cannot tell this as lead nitrate. Cannot, uh, you have to add in the oxidation number where this is lead 2 nitrate. What is the reason? The reason is the lead is a transition element. We studied in our chapter 4, all the transition elements will have more than one oxidation number. So, this lead is a transition element, so you have to put a bracket 2 for it. So, you are using the lead 2 nitrate solution. Wei Heng, I hope you get until here. It's correct for you to cut half positive, negative. Okay, good. Okay. Then you have to make a solution using the lead 2 ion. What you want to use, you use the lead 2 nitrate solution. And what else of solution? Can I hear from uh, Subash? What type of solution? Yongshan, what type of solution? Lead 2 oxide can or not? No, lead 2 oxide is not a solution. Now, this lead 2 nitrate already gives you the lead 2 ion. So, no need no need to talk about the lead 2 ion anymore. Mm -hmm. My question is, what solution that you are going to use so that you get the chloride ion? Teacher, can I use sodium chloride? Correct, you can use the sodium chloride. Ah, you see, ah? this one you pair it with a nitrate ion. This one you pair it with a sodium ion. Ah, like what I said just now, the positive ion always pair with a negative ion. The negative ion always pair with a positive ion. Okay, so now you are going to get your equation. Okay, what is your equation? Your equation will be 
You take this, you cut half one, you have positive, negative, positive, negative. So the positive from the front will take the negative from the back, giving you the PBCL2 and the NA and O3. You put a tool to balance up the equation. Okay, meaning to say one mole of lactic nitrate will react with two mole of sodium chloride to produce one mole of lactic chloride and two mole of sodium nitrate. Okay, can you understand until here? If you can, show a light. If you cannot show a love, then ask me. Okay, now please don't uh, confuse uh, with this preparation of soluble salt. We know that this lead to chloride it is insoluble so we have to use two solution mixed together to get an insoluble salt okay now if you don't want to use sodium chloride you can use potassium chloride no problem or any chloride which is soluble you can even use a hydrochloric acid as long as it is a solution okay which consists of the chloride ion but why i said you use a group one salt because it will be for sure soluble uh, if you suddenly during your exam and you panic, you forget the reading. Then how? If your first step is wrong, then everything will be wrong. So I want to make sure you are correct. That's why I say go for the nitrate ion and heat sodium ion. Okay. Now we are going to talk about our procedure now. Okay. Now what is the first step? Can I hear from Yong Shen? Number one. Step one. 250. Put uh, 50 cm cube and 0.5 mole uh, per dm of the lead correct into the particle. Okay, just now you said put 50 cm cube, 0.5 mole per decimeter cube of lead chloride into a beaker. Okay. Is this what you mentioned just now, Jonathan? I think yes, huh? Okay, now for your information, even though, uh, Yongshan, please check. You want to tell me lead chloride or lead nitrate? Uh, lead nitrate, sorry, teacher. Okay, I check for you, huh? And he wants this to be nitrate, huh? Okay, even though I have already changed this to nitrate, everyone look here, listen carefully. This sentence will not give you any marks, even though it sounds correct. Okay, what is the reason? When you put, when you say you put 50 centimeter cube, 0.5 mole per decimeter cube, how do you know that it is 50 centimeter cube? Uh, you have to substitute this word put by using the word measure and pour that means you measure the 50 cubic centimeter 0.5 mole per decimeter cube of this solution then you pour into a beaker that is the meaning measure and pour they are good friends they are twins you cannot separate them okay and when you are talking about the lead nitrate it is wrong okay we don't pronounce it as lead huh? lead is a verb we are talking uh, talking about the noun, so it is a lead to nitrate. Just now I mentioned uh, the lead, the PBNO3, it is, this PB is a transition element. So we have to write the name as lead to nitrate. Okay, please take note that uh, everyone, this is important. Uh, chemistry, they don't tolerate the any error like this. Uh, cannot tolerate at all okay so the first step should be measure and pour 50 centimeter cube 0.5 mole per decimeter cube of lead to nitrate solution into a beaker that will be your first step okay next we move on to step two and can i hear from um, colin number two Oh, yeah. uh, oh okay. Um my answer wait, hold on. Okay. My answer is 
uh, add, oh sorry, measure and pour 0.5 mole decimeter cube of chlorine, uh, chlorine sulfate. Chlorine sulfate. What is chlorine sulfate? Uh, sorry, uh, not chlorine sulfate. Mm. Uh, it's chlorine and sodium, but I don't know what's the, the full word. Chlorine and sodium, sodium chloride, lah, baby. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sodium chloride. Ah. Formation of the chemical formula is important. Okay, sodium chloride into where? Uh, into a big. Yes, into a beaker. Okay, now, okay, now you look at this sentence. This sentence won't give you marks also. Ah, why? Ah? Can anyone tell me? Jen, how, why this sentence don't give you marks? What is wrong? Can you measure concentration? No. Ah, cannot, right? So what you measure? You are measuring the volume. Ah, you cannot measure the concentration. So you are going to measure and pour again 50 cm cube, 0.5 mole per decimeter cube. Sodium chloride solution. This one ah, solution into a beaker. And follow out everyone. Huh? I purposely use what your friend put for you. And I'm very sure most of you write answer like this, right? Uh, then you complain why SPM you cannot score. Uh, this is the reason uh, why you cannot score. Okay? Now, number three. Who wants to give me your answer? Any volunteer? Can I hear from Tanusri? Uh? Tanusri, number three. Are you here? Uh? Is Tanusri here? Oh, she's not here. Janice, can you tell us your answer? Uh, the 50 cm cube of 0.5 mol dm cube of lead to nitrate mm. into a beaker that containing 50 cm cube of 0.5 mol dm cube of sodium chloride. Okay, good, exactly. But I can make your sentence to be shorter. In the exam, you have not so much time of, of writing, right? So now you can just say, you add the lead to nitrate solution into the sodium chloride. solution that's all ah, okay number four what should we do now we are at number four can i hear from uh, zach adding in the yes it's the solution it? mix up what what you use to mix up uh glass okay. rod don't want to Always. use the word mix i want you to start the word with an s Yes. Stir. Yes. Stir what? Uh, stir the mixture by using glass rod. Mm, correct. Stir the mixture. Finish the story. Okay. Now next. Now I want to call someone. Let's hear from uh, Kayong. What to do? Filter the mixture. Oh, so fast filter the mixture. Ah. Okay, lah, I follow you. Lah. Others agree or not? Filter the mixture. Filter the mixture is correct. Ah. Okay, next, number six. What to write? Hmm, this time I want to hear from Sean. Sean, what to do for number six? Sean? Use, use a few pieces of filter hmm. paper to dry or oh, you yeah. want to dry it okay that one is uh, set, uh, step number seven uh. 
that one is the last step okay there is one more step we want to remove some uh, sodium chloride that is stick on the surface of the lead to chloride uh, sorry we want to remove the sodium nitrate which stick on the surface of lead to chloride anyone has idea what to do rinse rinse okay rinse what rinse the precipitate sodium hmm. using Using what, Darren? Yes, using distilled water. Now, some books say right for you are using cold water. That cold water is actually normal distilled water, okay? And number seven, we are going to write the step that Sean mentioned, where we are going to dry the precipitate, precipitate by using a uh, By pressing it between pieces of filter papers. Okay, so this is the seven seven marks uh, for the preparation of insoluble salt. Okay, so whenever you want to produce the salt. Make sure step number one, determine whether it is a soluble salt or an insoluble salt. If it is an insoluble salt, this is the steps. Huh? You determine what are the solution needed, then uh, you write out. Lah. Then if it is a soluble salt, you use the chemical properties of the acid. 